What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for the uh, sign of Aries. This could resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general collective reading. Okay, so I, I felt guided to do Aries next, and then I kept hearing Aries uh, three times, actually. So that was triple confirmation to do Aries. So I'm doing Aries. Um, I received a few downloads, so I'm going to relay them to you guys. Of course, it is a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. There's millions and billions of people in the world, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. Uh, it helps support a single mama's income stream, uh, single mama two kids income stream. So love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 11,415 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 305. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. Okay, so the channel message I received, uh, or some of them is the ones I received were, first one was, um, and Aries is about to be exposed, um, called out very, very, very publicly and very bluntly. Um, that was the first one. And then I heard an Aries is about to help expose another Aries, uh, called out very, very publicly and bluntly. Um, that was the second one. And then the third one I heard an Aries is about to go to jail soon uh, with no bail. They're about to be shot. So you plug it in how it resonates. Holy freaking night. Now, if you are an Aries and that is not, you're, you're not the one about to go to jail, then, you know, you might know the Aries that's about to go to jail. You know, you only plug the messages in that resonate for you and your own personal situation. Okay. There's millions, billions of people in the world, millions, billions of Aries in the world. So if you're not the one about to go to jail, you might know the Aries about to go to jail. Okay. I just don't want to freak anybody out. Okay. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So we have three categories in here so far from what I have received for the channelings. One Aries is about to um, be publicly exposed. Very, 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 very publicly called out. That's one. Another Aries is about to publicly expose person, people, place, or situation. And in category two, I feel in some cases it is another Aries. So you plug it in very publicly and very and called out very bluntly, I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. In some of these cases, I feel it's another Aries. In some of these cases, I feel it's another sign. You, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug these messages in how they resonate. I feel it ha these have not happened yet. They're, it sounds like they're about upcoming in the universe. Category three, there is an Aries that is about to go to jail soon, I heard, with no bail, and they're about to be shot. So you plug it in, how it resonates. In one of these cases, it is a very well-known Aries. High profile. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay. In one of these carry uh one of these cases, so it's at least two plus Aries in the universe. They're about to go to jail with no bail. They're about to be shot. But one of them I heard is a very, very high profile Aries. Um so public eye energy, I feel public eye energy, um, and they're about to be shot. No bail. So um, they will probably be, well, I don't know how they do it in every single jail. I've only worked in one jail in my life. But the jail I worked in, which is the largest, um, largest populated jail in the state of Alabama, but the way they did it there is high profile people, they put in solitary. Uh, they didn't put them up there with general, general pop. Um, so this person probably will be put in solitary. Is my presumptive logic and reasoning guesstimate if there's that high profile? Now, I don't know if they're high profile on the street side or they're high profile public eye, like, you know, CEO or um, manager or uh, public figure um, side. I'm not sure. You only, you know, only this Aries knows their story, not anybody else, so, or whoever this is. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy moly, man. Heard they're about to be shot. But, category two, if you resonate with category two, you are going to help. I think 
one of you guys is going to help put this person in jail, either with information or you might be police or you might be investigators or something of that nature. Category two, I feel is light side here. Um, and I'm serious. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, however that resonates. Okay. So we're going to use the psychic tarot. I hope everybody is doing well. These are psychic intuitive messages. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Sorry, y'all. Let me clear out my cards. I know it's been a few months since I've done sign readings, but I'm back now. I got the green light from the spiritual realm to go. So I'm going. Spirit messages you have a sign of Aries. The very high profile Aries life is about to fall apart very soon. They have lived in a web of lies for years. Oh my Lord. This high profile, this high profile Aries is coming very strong. I heard their life is about to fall apart very soon. They have lived in a web of lies for years. So they have lived in some kind of web of lies in some shape, form, or fashion. Spirit messages you have for Sai Aries. Um, I don't know if it's a masculine or femme, but they are definitely public eye energy, uh, whether it's street side or not street side. Um, but they're obviously not light side, I'll tell you that, whether it's street side or not street side. Um, whoever they are, I mean, if you live in a web of lies in your life, you're obviously not uh, light side. Um, and that's just the truth. All right. King of Wands upright to a sword's reverse. Come on, buddy. Come on. Confirmation from Fat Boy. And I can't see him, but I know it's him. Come on. Come on, buddy. Okay. King of Wands upright to a sword's reverse. A pregnant Aries feminine is about to have so much stress in their life. They are about to be hospitalized soon. Possible miscarriage. A particular Scorpio masculine is about to start blowing up their phone. Very secretly controlling Scorpio masculine. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. So Aries Femme energy in here, pregnant Aries Femme energy. Um, you could be this pregnant Aries Femme energy. So far, I'm pulling in low vibrational people. So if this is not you guys, it could be somebody you're connected to. Okay. But it's a pregnant Aries Femme. All these people are, well, everybody but category two over here. This is light side Aries. Uh, whoever you are about to expose another Aries or somebody not an Aries sign. Your light side, but everybody else so far, including this pregnant Aries femme, sounds like our dark side over here. Um, but it's a pregnant Aries femme, low vibrational dark side. Uh, pregnant Aries femme energy. I heard um, she's pregnant. Um, I heard she's about, her phone is about to start getting blown up by low vibrational Scorpio masculine energy, secretly controlling Scorpio masculine energy. Heard it's about to stress her out so bad. She's about to be hospitalized, possible miscarriage. So um, I'm thinking, well, I think she'd probably be hospitalized for the maternity aspect. She's currently pregnant. So I think something's going to go awry. All the stress is going to make her um, go to the hospital thinking she's having a possible miscarriage or she might have a miscarriage. But I think the hospitalization is about to be related to maternity matters is what I'm trying to say because she's currently pregnant. I think in these situations, I heard a secretly controlling Scorpio masculine energy. So I think the Scorpio masculine is the baby daddy is what I'm thinking here. Um, and, and whoever this pregnant um, Aries femme is. That's exactly what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. If it's not the baby daddy of this pregnant Aries fem, it could be a father, it could be a grandfather, it could be um, somebody, a masculine energy connected to her. 
that is secretly controlling. But there's a reason this Scorpio masculine is secretly controlling to her, um, whoever this pregnant Aries feminine energy is, and how this secretly controlling Scorpio masculine applies in her life. But are blowing up her phone. So, I mean, it's about, I feel phone call after phone call after phone call after phone call. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I mean, my gosh, I couldn't handle that crap. That, ooh, that's too much. But, um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Like I said, it's not you pregnant Aries fam. It's, it could be a pregnant Aries fam connected to you that is, has a Scorpio, a secretly controlling Scorpio. Well, when he starts blowing up her phone to me, that's not secretly controlling. That's publicly controlling. Because when you're blowing, 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 blowing up somebody's phone, obviously that's not the cat's out of the bag. They're not secretly controlling anymore. Someone's about to have a huge wake-up call. I heard someone's about to have a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. I'm serious. That's not um, secret no more. Cat's out of the bag at that point. But if it is the baby daddy, Aries, pray to Aries fam, if this resonates for you, the blowing, 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 blowing up the phone is, to me, that's red flag energy all day long. And I heard um, you're pregnant. So if he is your baby daddy, I didn't hear he was your spouse, your committed partner, or what have, have you. I hope he's not. Um, but if he's like a baby daddy energy, which I feel he might be, to me, hopefully that'll give you some red flag energy to where you can separate from this person. Um, or put some boundaries up or something. Um, but, of course, you can take the um, advice or leave it. Just saying. Ooh. King of Wands upright, two of swords reversed. A very high vibrational male, fire sign, masculine, has not given the green light to start moving in yet. Very important SWAT team operation, but they're about to do it soon. It's about to be very, very, very important for their community very soon. Wow, so you plug it in, how, well, this is a good one. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So a very high vibrational nail, fire sign masculine. So you could be the very high vibrational fire sign masculine. Um, I feel, feel your position of high authority in the police. Um, I'm serious, I heard SWAT team. So um, are you the head of a SWAT team uh, is what I'm thinking here. Uh, your high vibrational nail. Now in the past, you I feel you wasn't, but you know, everybody, Everybody grows. Everybody grows. I don't, I don't judge. Everybody grows. So you were not in the past, but you are now. Um, I think you might be the head of a SWAT team or the head of police or the chief of police or something of that nature. Um, I feel you work in the police force. Um, high vibrational now, fire sign masculine. You can have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Hebrew, Jupiter charts. I feel you might be head of this um, SWAT team or chief of police, or head of the police unit, or detectives, or something of that nature. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But you are positioned on high authority enough to give the green light for a freaking SWAT team to go in. Um, that's pretty high level, I'll tell you that. Whoever you are, um, I'll tell you that right now. So, just saying, just saying. Um, and I heard you have a racial nail, so kudos to you. But I heard you haven't given the green light yet, but you're about too soon. So it's some kind of significant SWAT team energy. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, SWAT teams basically are, um, I had to look it up in a reading, I think about a month ago or so, uh, which I had a general reference of what a SWAT team was before, but it basically is, um, they get they get the search warrant. Uh, well, from what I understand, I could be wrong, but from what I understand when I looked it up, 
they get the search warrant from the city or from wherever they get it from. They get it legally from the city and whatever areas they need to get it from for a, a probable suspected cause. And then they go in and they um, raid. They raid home or businesses or whatever they need to raid for some kind of suspected probable something, something, something. Um, usually it's drugs, but it can be other things. Um, however, that resonates. Um, from what I understand, if I'm wrong, please correct me, but that's from what I understand. Um, but you, Fire Sign Masculine, this is your energy. Desire, job, and motivation. You're coming up with the King Energy and the Tarot. Uh, you haven't made the decision yet to pull the green light, basically, on this significant SWAT team, uh, SWAT, um, Sting here, um, but I heard you're about to. Um, several shocking series of chain of events are about to occur to make it speed up. Several shocking series of chain of events are about to occur to make it speed up. So, you, Fire Sign Masculine, several shocking series of chain of events are about to occur to make it speed up. So, um, wow, okay, so you haven't done it yet, you haven't pulled the green light yet, but you're about to soon, whoever you are, sir. Um, your masculine energy, um, so. Desire, job, and motivation to, I heard it's going to help your community tremendously. So I think it might be drug related or it might be child sex trafficking or child abuse or like child, child sex trafficking or human trafficking or something of that nature. There's some reason why I feel the police force or detectives or something of that nature has been investigating something huge, whether it's drug related, human trafficking related, child sex trafficking related or something of that nature. Um, enough to where there's a SWAT team kind of on hold is what it sounds like to run in there and start um, doing their business. Um, and SWAT teams just don't go up in residences, businesses, areas for no damn reason. That's the truth. I mean, they have a whole legal process they have to follow. You know what I'm saying? Just like everybody. So you haven't um, made the decision yet, but it sounds like I heard several shocking series of chain of events are going to occur soon to where it's going to speed it up. So this is your energy of not making the decision yet. Not, uh, my, I can't speak. Not making the decision yet. Uh, you haven't pulled the green light yet, but I heard you're about to. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy crap, man. Spirit messages you have for sign of Aries. I feel whoever this fire sign masculine is, because we're in Aries reading, I just want to say, I feel you have Aries in your chart in some shape, form, or fashion. There's a reason you're pulling in Aries reading. I'm telling you that right now. So you might have um, Leo or Sag in your other charts, but I feel you have Aries in at least one placement. I'll tell you that. Five of Swords Reverse, King of Swords Upright. A particular Aries has mended things with the Gemini. Talked it out and, and mended it. Peace there now. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Both of these people can move on now. However... For some, it's a mother of this Aries. For some, it is a grandmother. For some, it's a grandfather. For some, it is a former lover, gay lover. Okay, so for Aries, if this resonates with you, um, you have mended things, mended fences, mended things with a Gemini. Um, I heard... Um, so you've been to things. Some of you guys, the Gemini is a mother. It sounds like a yours Aries. For some, it is a grandmother. For some, it's a grandfather. For some, it is a former gay lover. So you plug it in how it resonates. 
Um, one of the Geminis is going to end up in serious trouble soon. It is very smart that you have separated ways with this person. You know this. Okay, I heard one of these Geminis is going to end up in serious trouble soon. Um, it is very smart that you have uh, basically mended fences and energetically, it sounds like you've energetically strayed away from this person. Um, but one of them is going to end up in serious trouble soon. But it was very smart on your part, Aries, if this resonates for you to energetically separate away from them because they're about to get in some serious trouble. So I don't know if it's the mother, it sounds like your mother, your grandmother, your grandfather, or a former gay lover. To me, it could be any of those people that um, is about to get in trouble um, soon. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but mending fences energy here, mending fences between you and this um, Gemini. It's a Gemini energy. They can have Gemini in their semi rising Venus, Ortho, Midham, and Jupiter charts. The Gemini energy is showing up as um, a King of Swords upright. So it's, I mean, in two of these instances, it is masculine energies, but two, they're fem too. So, because um, we have mother, grandmother, grandfather, and a former gay lover. So you have to plug, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But what I'm saying is for the two fem energies, they're showing up as a king of swords upright. So I think it's a fem that takes on heavy masculine because they're showing up in the row as king of swords upright. So I think a lot of truth and clarity was um, given between you and this Gemini, whether it was your mother, uh, grandmother, grandfather, or um, former gay lover. And you guys talked it out uh, verbally. A lot of truth probably was spoken between both of you guys. You mended fences, and then you move, decided to move on away from each other. Um, but the one that's about to get in serious trouble, the Gemini that's about to get in serious trouble, Aries, I heard it was very smart on your part because the, it sounds like they are about to experience a very heavy dose of karma, but you will not be involved because you have not been energetically communicating or around this person enough to be like an accomplice, uh, whatever the hell they're about to get in trouble for is what I'm feeling here. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, this is your mother, grandmother, grandfather, or former gay lover energy. Um, you and them speaking the truth to each other, mending fences, energetically separating. Five of swords upright. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, five of swords reverse. No conflict and chaos here anymore because there was fences were mended and y'all have energetically separated away from each other. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. All right. Let me pull some tea leaves. Actually, I feel guided to get a kip. I feel guided to get Kipper because I heard an Aries is about to end up in jail soon. I feel guided to get Kipper, man. We have um, SWAT team energy in here. We have somebody going to jail soon. We have a very controlling Scorpio masculine on a pregnant Aries femme. I mean, we have a lot going on in here. A particular Aries friend is about to drink themselves into a bottle soon. It is about to really, really, really upset this Aries, but this Aries knows that they should have made better choices. Oh my Lord. Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. Drink themselves into the bottle is like, um, that's like alcohol poisoning is what I take from the spiritual download. It's like alcohol poisoning or, um, alcoholism that turns into alcohol poisoning. Um, and I'm serious about that. I mean, you can get alcohol poisoning and not be an alcoholic, but um, drink themselves into the bottle. I can I take it as they've just been an alcoholic for a long ass minute and it's just one too many and they're gone. They already had serious health problems and it just it was one last bottle. Or they're not an alcoholic and maybe they went to a kegger or a party or Something traumatic happened to, in their life to where they just would drink and drink and drink and drink and went and quit. And then it was one too many bottles. Um, they were not an alcoholic previously, but they just kept doing it and went and quit. And they poisoned their body with too much alcohol. So to me, I feel like it go both ways. But you plug it in how it resonates. But if that particular message resonates with you, Aries, I heard it is a friend of yours. It is a friend of yours. And um, they're basically about to experience some kind of alcohol poisoning whether they were previously an alcoholic or not, um, it's about to be one too many bottles or cans or what have you, shots or what have you. 
Um, but I heard, you know, that um, you're going to be very sad, be very sad about it. Absolutely. Um, but you know, they should have made better choices. And absolutely. I mean, everybody has choices to make and everybody goes through crazy crap. Absolutely. Yes. In their life. Absolutely. But it's how you deal with it. It's how you cope and deal with it. And whoever your friend is, if this resonates for you, they obviously have not coped with it very well. And that's very unfortunate. I really hate that. I truly do. But uh, my condolences. Spirit messages you have for Sonic Aries. A particular Aquarius is about to become very, very, very significant in one Aries life. For one Aries, this is going to be very positive. For one Aries, this is going to be very negative. Okay, I heard a particular Aries, um, a particular, uh, I'm sorry, Aquarius is about to become very, very, very uh, significant in um, an Aries life. For some of you guys, this Aquarius is about to be very positive part of your life. For some of you guys, the Aries is about to be, I mean, not the Aries, the Aquarius is about to be very negative part of your life. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. A particular Aries feminine is about to get fired for theft soon. She's about to be shocked. And a particular Aries is about, to, feminine, is about to experience a house fire soon. Electrical issues. A huge house fire. She is a thief as well. Oh my, a lot of thief energy in here. What is going on? Feminine Aries thieves? What? I mean, if it's not you, it's somebody you're connected to. If only you know your story, not anybody else. Dear God, you guys. So if it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. But at least two Aries thieves in the universe, I'll tell you that. One of them, it sounds like they're about to, I don't know if it's an apartment. I heard a house fire, but you know, I heard a house fire, so it's probably a house and not a apartment. But some kind of electrical issues. Um, I heard huge house fires. So, I mean, it's not going to be something that's going to be able to be put out with some towels, patting it down and what have you. Um, put it out before it becomes something huge. A huge house fire. Um, but it's an Aries Fem Thief. Um, uh, they have Aries in their semi rising Venus, North Dome, and Jupiter. And then another Aries Thief. Apparently, they work in the 3D. And, um, I heard they're about to get fired soon. It's about to shock them. So that could be the negative Aquarian energy with the, possibly, with the uh, Fem Aries Thief, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. And then I pulled High Honor Reversed and Main Female Upright. So I think this energy is the Aries, Fem Aries Thief's energy. It's exactly what I think. They're about to get not, they're, are not in high honor or about not to get in high honor because they are thieves. But two of these Aries thieves are about to experience negative karma in the universe for being thieves is what it sounds like. Sounds like it's about to be universal justice here through the form of a house fire, electrical house fire. And I heard a huge electrical house fire. It's not just a little one. And one of them getting terminated for theft. Now, Termination for theft is a rightful termination for anybody who doesn't know. That is not a wrongful termination. That is a rightful termination when you get terminated for theft. Um, you can't steal. Um, that's misappropriation of funds and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, so, you know, you can't steal from anybody. So that's definitely a rightful termination and not a wrongful termination. So these two Aries fans are about not to be in high honor because they have stole from person, people, place, or situation. Huge investigations are about to be performed on both of these Aries feminines. They are about to be mortified. Oh my God, and sirens. If, if y'all can hear that, I hope you can. Sirens. That is confirmation sirens, you guys. Oh Lord. I heard a huge investigation is about to be performed on both of these confirmation with the sirens and the one of the one of the beginning spiritual messages in here when i started aries reading was an aries was about to go to uh jail soon they're about to be shot and one of them's high profile one's not confirmation with the sirens wow oh my god 
Okay, so t um, these two Aries Femme Thieves are not going to be held in high regard. They were, they're pulling high on a reverse um, because they're thieves. I mean, who wants to be around a thief? And that's just the truth. Um, and main female upright, I feel this is the Femme Aries Energy Thieves here. Oh, that sirens just went off. Wow. Holy crap. Now, like I said, if it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. I'm just saying, okay? I know we're running a little late, a uh, little long. I'm sorry. All the readings have been running a little long. Wow. A particular Libra masculine is about to reveal information on an Aries feminine they would have never, ever thought this Libra masculine was about to do. They are about to do it. In some of these cases, a Scorpio masculine is connected to this Aries femme. Okay, I heard a particular Libra masculine is about to relate information on a particular Aries femme. Um, I heard the Aries femme would have never thought the Libra masculine would do this, but they are about to do it. Um, in some of these cases, a Scorpio masculine is connected to this Aries femme. So I feel whoever this Libra masculine is, um, we're pulling in a lot of logo racial energy in here. A lot of Aries logo racial energy. Some good, low, uh, some good high vibrational Aries energy. Um, but a lot of low, but you plug it in how it resonates. So Aries and strong Aries Femme energy. So Aries Femme energy, it sounds like the Aries Femme in this situation does not want the information to get out. I think in some of these situations, there's a Scorpio masculine connected to these two, the Libra masculine and the Aries Femme. I think this person might be a baby daddy energy or baby, uh, I think baby daddy possibly, or a third party or sticky link or a situation ship or something of that nature. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Let me see if I hear anything else. A particular Aries is about to really divulge it all. Huge confession coming from this Aries. Huge wake up call. Low vibrational in the past, about to really buck it up. A particular Pisces is going to be very upset that this Aries does this, but they don't care. They're about to do it. Oh, well, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, so Aries energy. You can be masculine or fem Aries, um, but you, whoever you are, if this particular message resonates with you, you are connected to a Pisces. Um, so you're Aries, masculine or fem, but you're connected to a Pisces in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I don't know if it's a lover, if it's a family member, a co-worker, uh, um, whoever. It's somebody you're connected to, this Pisces. You are Aries. Um, you have to plug your own situation in, however it resonates, if it resonates for you, Aries, okay? But I heard the Pisces does not want you to do this. But I heard you're about to do it. And it's about to benefit you in a huge, huge, huge way. Know this. Know this. This Pisces likes to steal the show, and you know it. Oh my God. Okay. So, okay. So I heard it's about to benefit you. So this huge confession energy, um, I heard you, you know, some deep, dark Dooku stuff on something. Now, whatever it is, only, you know, your story, not anybody else, but you know, you do. And it sounds like there's been some kind of cover up energy or there's a reason this Pisces doesn't want you to display it. I heard the Pisces likes to steal the show and you know it. So this Pisces, I think has convinced you to cover up this information in some shape, form or fashion. But I heard you were to the point you don't care. You don't care. You're about to do it. And you are about to get convincing from another particular person to do it. It is definitely smart to do it. Confirmation. Oh, okay. Okay, Aries. So I heard, okay, so you have a Pisces that doesn't want you to do it. To do it. I heard they like to steal the show. They want you to cover it up. Blah, 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 blah. But I heard you're about to get convincing from another person. Now, I don't know what sign this other person is. So another person in your life in some shape, form, or fashion that's about to convince you to do it, to confess this energy, to go and speak on this energy. Now, whoever 
in this situation. Now, whoever you're going to speak it to, I don't know. Is it I, only you know, not me. So I don't know if it's the police, the feds, a workplace situation, uh, official reporting energy. I'm not sure. Only you know, not anybody else, but some kind of very serious situation. So whatever, whoever you need to speak it to is what I'm trying to say. But you've got a Pisces that does not want you to do it. But you know, they don't want you to do it because they like to still shine in some shape, form, or fashion. And I think they know that you will get high honor if you do it. And I heard you will get high honor if you do it. Um, but you're about to, it sounds like you're about to get convinced from another person in your life in some shape, form, or fashion to do it. I heard spiritual um, download that it would be smart to do it. So, of course, you can take the advice, the spiritual downloads, and take the advice, or you have free will not to take it. So, you plug it in however it resonates. If you fit into this category, Aries, you could be masculine or feminine uh, Aries, dealing with the masculine or feminine Pisces. And then you have a third, another another person in your life about to convince you. I heard the person about to convince you to do this, to um, display this very important information. It sounds like very publicly or official reporting or something of that nature. This sounds like it's going to be confirmation from you, for you, Aries, to do it. When this person convinces you or um, it not convinces you, but encourages you to do it is what it sounds like. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Aries. Okay, so you, Aries, in this situation, you, you can be a femme energy, or I feel you can be a masculine takes on heavy femme, possibly. But in this situation, the previous, you know, was high honor reversed. I heard you're going to get high honor for this. So in this situation, it'll be high honor upright. You're either a femme energy or your masculine takes on heavy femme is what I'm feeling. But you're definitely going to get high honor, whether you are a femme energy or a masculine takes on heavy femme, you're definitely going to get high honor in this. Uh, if you do it. Now, if you do it, everybody has free will. So you plug it in however it resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, but you've got some kind of Piscean energy in your life that does not want you to do it. But they don't want you to do it for strategic reasons. Just know that, okay? All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A child lashing out is about to become very severe confirmation for a particular Aries. Okay, I heard a child lashing out is about to become severe confirmation for a particular Aries. So um, you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Aries. Um, it could be your child or somebody you're connected to's child. It doesn't necessarily have to be your child. I just heard a child. So some kind of child in your life, whether it's your child or a child you're connected to, only you know your story, not anybody else. Some kind of child energy lashing out. So I don't know if they're going to lash out at you or lash out at a situation or lash out at somebody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But that is going to be confirmation in your life as well, Aries, if that particular message resonates for you. So some kind of child lashing out energy, whether it's at you or somebody else, whether it's your child or somebody else's child, some kind of child lashing out. And for this one particular situation where this Aries is going to get high honor, but you've got a Piscean that does not want you to do it, but they don't want you to do it because I feel they, they know you're going to get high honor. Um, I feel you're about to bust shit, some shit right open, whoever you are. I'm serious. About to bust it open, man. Oh, my God. That's, that's confirmation. That's confirmation in this reading. I heard about to bust it open. That's double freaking confirmation. About to bust it open, Aries. Yeah, I felt it. I felt it. You're about to bust it open, man. Um, but confirmation with this person, other person, co convincing you or talk or trying to talk you in to do it. Of course, you know, somebody can convince you to do it and encourage you to do it. But only you, you know, somebody can talk to their blue in the face all day long to encourage you to do something is what I'm trying to say. But only you have the free will to do it is what I'm trying to say. So, but this is will be confirmation for you if this particular message resonates for you, this person, other person besides this Piscean, convincing you to do it, okay? That's one confirmation in this reading. 
with the double confirmation of you will get high honor if you do it. Okay. The other confirmation, now whether it's the same Aries or a different Aries, I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. The other confirmation is some kind of child lashing out energy. Now, whether it's your child, somebody you're connected to's child, whether they're going to lash out at you or somebody you're, uh, or somebody else, but some kind of child lashing out energy will, is another confirmation in here. Uh, you plug yourself in where you fit. You only take the messages that resonate. But a lot of confirmations in here, this is the most confirmations I've gotten in the sign reading so far when I've started in a bag. I haven't done sign readings for about three months now. Y'all have had a bunch of confirmations in here. No other sign so far has had this many confirmations. Just let you know. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices, and I hope this helped, and namaste.